Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again for yet another DC Multiverse video, and today, very excited, because we're headed back to the 90s for this one. I love me some 90s DC Comics action, that's what I grew up a-reading, and Zero Hour, for as confusing as it was, gave us this Hawkman. So again, yeah, this is basically my Hawkman, this is what I remember, right? Part of the McFarlane Collector Edition Club line of figures, right, basically, we could have called that anything. How about the, the world's finest, right? Something like that, a little bit more ring to it, other than a little pat on the back. You know what I mean? The artwork on the back is not really going to match the box, but yes, that is a version of Hawkman. And here's the barcode. I found mine at Target. They're starting to hit store shelves, and it's the only one I found, because in truth, while I love this 90s one, I would love to have this Platinum Edition version as well. So he's out there, classic colors, and... If you didn't know, back in the 90s with Kenner's Total Justice toy line, this version, Zero Hour Hawkman, did debut as an action figure. So that's very cool as well. Now, the storyline of Zero Hour, as confusing as it was, we're basically melding three versions of Hawkman to make the comics less confusing. And you got this Hawkman, right? But an alien by birth, an Earthman by choice, and a champion by destiny. This version of Hawkman was in all the ads, all the comics, everything that I was reading back in the day. So I do distinctly remember this version. But then as we got to the cartoon of Justice League Unlimited, yes, the classic version took hold as well. But in either case... Uh, this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new McFarlane toys from the McFarlane Collector Edition line, Hawkman from the 90s Zero Hour. And while I got a Rotalix or Katar Halls or Carter Halls or whatever you want to call them here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my DC Multiverse videos. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. And a heck of a lot of chest hair, apparently. So here's everything out of the box. And like I said, this is the $30 price point now. And I'll save you some time. I'm not going to beat a dead horse. No. There's nothing here that signifies the $30 price point. Hopefully they fix that. But I'm a sucker for this Hawkman, so I had to have it. You get the card stand. The card stand, and I get what they're doing, right? They want to do a presentation, basically, on your shelf. You got the card stand. You got the bio. You got a nice little setup here and there. But for collectors, we look at the stand and we go, what else you got, right? But he does come with the Nth Metal Mace. And that... Well, that's a very necessary weapon if you're going to do a Hawkman, so I appreciate that they put that in the box. It's a very gummy mace, but I would have appreciated a little bit of a wash to it to really bring out the details. It is the collector's line. After all, a little goes a long way. You do get wings. Those are also important to a Hawkman. They are reused, though, from the recent Spawn's Universe Redeemer figure, but... Again, nice detail. Depending on who draws colors the Hawkman from back in the day, usually they are a grayish, bluish wing like these are. Sometimes they could be brown as well. Just kind of went back and forth. But they do work with this Hawkman. I'll give them that. You do get a stand. This time it's got a silver ADC logo because it's the collector's line, of course. But the Hawkman figure is really great. There are a few nitpicks, and that has to do, again, with copying the source material right the head portrait is beautiful two types of gold i love the accents the eyes that is stellar they did a great job the hair is great too coming off the back you even have the feathery goodness where his wings attached to his back that's cool the belt the gloves everything looks good including the chest hair right you gotta have lots of chest hair for this hawk man including arm hair right so they got that in there Right here, though, on the bicep, he should have had a band around his arm that had more of ninja stars, right? You can see it right there in the artwork. But I love that he has little sculpted-in veins. Those are cool. It's a nice touch. He even has the painted arm hair on that side. Thank God they put that on there. The costume, for the most part, is fairly accurate. But I'm going to nitpick it because, again, we're dealing with the collector's line, higher price point. So I expect a little bit more artist's eye here. He's missing the band around his leg. And I'll show you that in just a second. But they nailed the boots. The boots are cool. I totally appreciate that. And I love the sculpt. But that band around his leg, as you can see right here, holds the mace in place. So when you put it through, 
and I'm glad that he does have weapon storage. But the part on his leg holds the mace in place. Apparently, I love saying that. That would have been a nice touch to include that. Otherwise, you just kind of put it in through the strap, and you can go either which way, right? It doesn't really matter. It does hold it. So it does have weapon storage, we'll say. Now, again, he's got peg holes on the bottom. The costume is fairly accurate. You got the belt and everything until you get to... Well, let's say the hands right here, and specifically this brown gloved hand, which should be fingerless gloves. So they miss the paint app right there. That should be flesh colored paint for the fingers. Those are little details that would make the collector's line pop and make collectors go red. Right here on the glove though, this one bothers me tremendously, I gotta say. So you have this glove, it's a, it's a glove, right? We can clearly see on the artwork, it's got little tassels, which it has the tassels, but then they didn't paint the joints or have the joint color the same as the glove. So now it splits it from glove to flesh to glove again. So again, with a higher price point, with billing this towards collectors, these are the types of things where collectors, including myself, are going to roll our eyes and go, yeah, I don't. I don't think so. You can move the joint around, you can move the hand around to kind of get it to where one side is the full glove, but again, you shouldn't have to do that. But let's take the wings and pop them in and they go in fairly easy and they're fairly light this time around, which doesn't make him too back heavy. But let's talk about the articulation, especially on a new figure, right? So in terms of a flying character, I'm really hoping you can get, well, his head up to a nice position. The wings, definitely do rotate. They give you a lot of momentum. I would have loved a second joint somewhere in the wings to kind of wrap up a little bit. That would have been nice. The head, you'll get plenty of articulation out of it. Left, up, down, right. He can look up when he flies. I'll show you all that in just a few. Very happy with the articulation in general for this figure. Again, being a new sculpt, it definitely does work well and it feels a little bit different as well now it wouldn't say it's gummy articulation but it's not as stuck as prior mcfarland toys releases so bicep double jointed elbows you have the wrist articulation the ab crunch works pretty well a lot of momentum in there including a waist which i can totally appreciate getting them in all those flying positions you have the legs which it's got that rubbery diaper piece but again, it has the belt, it looks good, you got the double jointed knees, and then you have the foot articulation and the toe articulation as well. And in case you are wondering what in the holy heck is happening here, well, I gotta give a special shout out to my friends over at Shilling Toys. So shilling for shilling, I guess if you wanted to say that. But they have these new hand puppet toys. They've been doing these for a long time, but these are of the newer variety. And they challenged me to do an everyday task using these hand puppets. So why not show the articulation of an action figure? And including it for the kiddos out there, well, you can eat your action figures. And to be honest with you, I've been having a lot of fun with these. So definitely check them out. I'll put links down in the description below. Again, they're by Shilling Toys. They make all those cool dinosaur figures and whatnot. So again, thanks for putting up with that. Now let's head back to reality. So in terms of posing this figure out, yes, like I said, the articulation works very well and he displays very well however i do wish that he came with a flying stand as a collector's edition a flying stand really would have elevated this figure being that get this oh he's a flying character so if you got an extra one laying around yeah you can definitely get him airborne or if you wanted to get him more into the hovering variety yeah you can definitely achieve that as well i do like this hawkman don't get me wrong right but he's missing some elements that I really wish would have been there. So when you have a 90s display, as we've been gradually putting together over the last couple years from McFarlane Toys, yeah, this Hawkman definitely stands out. So again, minus those certain things where I really wish they would work on that for later waves, overall, he's a pretty cool looking Hawkman. So that'll wrap it up for my look at the brand new McFarlane Toys straight from their collector's edition line. Hawkman zero hour style and it's a very cool figure but you've seen the video already you know my nitpicks here and there he displays well for those of you with less of an artist eye you'll probably take one look at this figure and go thanks it's Hawkman but again to really look at this and go you know what this is wrong this is wrong this is wrong this should be there even his little 
sword weapon that goes around his arm. That would have been a nice touch. An extra hand, an extra head portrait, extra hands in general. Let's do that. Come on. Let's see that more for Wave 3 and beyond. So, you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Hawkman. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, be on the lookout for Sinestro and Firestorm. They're starting to hit store shelves as well. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Well... Wow.